And just like that, the next episode of the recording session has begun. Welcome back to Sonic Adventure. I'm your host, Mega Channel Fist. It's like a video game, it's like a commentary. And when we last left off, can I pick this up? Oh crap. Ugh. When we last left off, um, how do you pick stuff up? Y, X, X? There we go. The windstone. It looks like a key to design must mean something. We last left off, Eggman took a Chaos Emerald and gave it to Chaos. And so now we need to, you know, stop Eggman and his master plan. Do I need to go inside? I can't exactly remember what I need to do, but um, normally I like to end my series off with an awkward pause. Uh, or my episodes off with an awkward pause, but I didn't get a chance to do that because of a cutscene. I feel like that's probably going to be the norm for this series, I imagine. Um, I have no way of knowing- okay, can you go down? Uh, I need to go in a cave if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I normally like to end it off with an awkward pause, I didn't get the chance to this time. Oh, oh, crap. Sonic? Oh no. Oh, I thought it was- Sonic! I- oh, Sonic! Sonic! Oh jeez, that's freaking annoying. The key is floating! Now I can go up. I think. Yes, there we go. To the second stage! Now loading. Get the Chaos Emerald. As you can see, Tells is um, tagging along with us for whatever reason. No idea why, but uh, he is. Now, anyone who's played Sonic 3D Blast might recognize the tune. It's a slightly remixed version of uh, whatchamacallit, of the theme from the first zone in Sonic Green Hill Zone, I think? Is it? No, it's not. I thought it was. I could have sworn. I, I think this is Sonic, uh, Sonic 3D Blast music, but... Oh yeah, we have this. We got sucked inside of a tornado and somehow, instead of like being tossed apart and being flown to like, freaking Bufu Egypt, we're jumping across inside of the freaking tornado, which I'm pretty sure is not impossible, not impossible, which I'm pretty sure is impossible, but you know, he's Sonic the Hedgehog, he can run, he can fly, he can reach the other side of the rainbow, so he can pretty much do anything he wants, if he wants to. <laughs> so he can do pretty much anything he wants if he wants to, that's a bit redundant, don't you think? Whatever the case may be. Yeah, here it is, the Green Hill Zone music. Do, do, do. Not Green Hill Zone, but Sonic 3D Blast music. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna stop singing because that's kind of annoying. And probably because of the way that I sync this, I'm probably my voice is probably like 0.3 seconds behind the audio, <laughs> behind the game audio. So I'm probably a little bit off sync, but I don't care. I'm too lazy to uh, make that perfect sync. I don't need to. <laughs> 0.3 seconds really isn't that big of a difference, so you know it is what it is. Anyway, yes, yeah, Sonic Adventure, man. It's this game that came out for the Dreamcast, I believe, in 1998. Which means, potentially, you probably weren't even alive when this came out, which is actually kind of scary to think. <laughs> uh, there are people like that in this world. You know, people, how dare you be born after 1998, you people? As in, I, I don't even know. I'm, I'm going to shut up now. Or so you thought, I'm doing a commentary so I can't exactly shut up, but I will change the subject to something else, which is probably the game! We're running down a twisted path and stuff, you know, typical Sonic-ness. Yeah, and Tails is falling behind us. Uh, we may or may not do this level again with Tails, who knows? And in fact, you might see a few of the levels overlap with each other, um, as the story unfolds with other people, but like I said, each person has like their own specific, um, am I dying? No, I mean, not, I did not, I did not, oh shit, oh shit, no, I think I am dead, oh no, I'm not dead, jeez, freaking game, each, uh, person has, like, their own mechanics to the game, like, Knuckles, I'm, like, if you know, if you played Sonic Adventure 2, you know what Knuckles stages are gonna be like, everyone else is pretty different, I won't exactly spoil how they go about, because I don't, in case you're a newcomer, I don't want to spoil, you know, too much about the game. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. 
The, the train heading for Station Square will be departing soon. What do you have to say, sir? Oh, hey, a little I don't even know what I'm saying. What I was saying right there. Hello? What's this big gust of wind inside that cave? Hmm. Guess I'll call it Windy Cave. Wasn't that like the best voice ever? All right. So, am I supposed to head back to Station Square, or am I supposed to go back up here? Let me see if I'm supposed to go back up here. It's been about three years since I've played the game, so a little bit of the story is probably going to be a bit fuzzy to me. I pretty much know what I'm doing, but, you know, you still can't shake off the rust. Hello? No, I guess we're not supposed to go here yet. Alright. So, down here then? If not, then I'm going to head back to Station Square. Oh, no. I just died. Yes, you can die in the overworlds, which is pretty freaking stupid. Alright, time to go to Station Square then. The train heading for a station... Or am I supposed to go here? Camera? Uh, if, as you can see by the end of the last episode, the camera was a little bit... It was kind of being stupid, honestly. Um, that's all I'll say about that. Because, like, the camera can be really freaking finicky sometimes, and how the heck do I get out of here? Uh, this game could be a real sack of shit sometimes, but that is all right, I suppose. Oh, up there, I think. Oh my god. I'm probably gonna get so much hate for this. You know, you Sonic veterans or pros out there are gonna get mad at me for getting... S Seriously, how do you get out of here? Can you ride up the what? No, that's stupid. Can I drown myself? I probably can. Can I... That's probably the only way that I can get out of here, like, efficiently. Perhaps I just drown myself, or, or I could take these paths that were clearly right here, because I'm an idiot. All these places that I've been to, you have to go to eventually, so it's not like I'm going there without merit. It's just like I just don't remember. Uh, Sonic Adventure 2 is a lot more linear in style, and it didn't have this this overworld thing, which I liked and I disliked, because I really like the overworld, but I like the linearity of Sonic Adventure 2. I felt like the story is a lot more concise because of that. But it is what it is. Now loading. Okay, so it's now nighttime in Station Square. Oh boy, this way. I think, right? Uh, what do you have to say? There's a place somewhere in the city where you can <gasps> go me. down into the sewer. Oh, there's a place somewhere in the city where you can go down and do the su sewer. Excuse me. We've got a special for couples right now. Twinkle Park. Is Twinkle Park where we're supposed to go next? I don't think so. Um, What about you? What do you have to say? Hello? Staff only. Please show ID card. Which we can't. We don't obviously do not have yet. Okay, so... There's a place somewhere in the city where you can go... We need to go straight into the sewer. Right here. Do you know how lost I got in this game because of that? Like, I could not find the sewer back when I originally played this game. Which was really effing annoying, honestly. But it is what it is. Ooh. We got... The... Now you've got light speed shoes. Press and hold the action button to store up power. Once you have enough power, release the button and you can do the light speed dash. The light speed dash lets you race toward rings at light speed. As long as there's a trail of rings, you can go just about anywhere. Wow, I can't believe... I I completely forgot that this game actually had voice acting explaining the... You know, how each power-up works. Sonic Adventure 2 is not like that. Anyway, if you're expecting a light dash like, you know, Sonic Adventure 2 or onwards, you're going to be sorely disappointed. You need to do a spin dash and charge up. Ready? So now you're like this and you're glowing. And then, from there... That's how you get up. Kind of annoying, but, I mean, not really annoying, but it's kind of... I like the newer so uh, speed dash a lot better, but you know it is what it is. What the heck? Are those Rock'em Sock'em robots? They are. Okay, so there's this. What do I need this for? I don't know. I'm going to put it back. Or not. Okay, can I leave? Hello? Hello? Hey, don't use the back door. Okay, that's cool. Let me. Can I pick this up again? There we go. Now, can I go this way? No! Let's go this way. Oh. 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 What's going on? Do I need to put this back on? 
Oh, I do. Okay. I see. Now, where do I need to go? Obviously not here. Do I need to go back to Station Square, or can I go to Twilight Park now? No, like, I'm legitimately lost right now. Um, which kind of sucks. But, uh... Or Twinkle Park, I should say. No, alright, so where's the orange thing? Orange ball of orangeness. Tell me where I need to go. Hello? You can go to the casino area at nighttime. Ah, the casino area. So, if I'm not mistaken, I go in through here? Right? And then I go to the casino area, which is a really weird stage, honestly. Okay, that's the pool. I don't need to go to the pool. Here. Right? I think so, at least. Who knows? Let me take a drink. Oh, this is the Chow Garden. We're not gonna or explore this just yet. I'll I'll do that later. Maybe as a bonus episode or something. If I cho if I so choose so, because this series is probably gonna be short enough that it probably would warrant a bonus episode. And there's enough con like I didn't do a bonus episode for uh, Dead Space. Ah, yes, that's exactly. Now I know what I need to do. Um, ready, go. There we go. Now we need to go to the next. Hello. Boy. Oh, I see what I need to do. Anyway, let me go back up. So let me hit this one first. And now let me charge. Now I'll step on both of these till have them reset. Go for this one, then that one, then boom! Now I'm inside. There we go. And this is... What is this? Is this a... Oh. This is the crystal ring. This reduces the time needed to store power for the light speed dash. Okay, that's cool. But now what am I supposed to do? <laughs> this game is this game really is an adventure, honestly. It really sucks that I, I I'm sorry that I'm not like the most professional, you know, I'm not like this is more of a let this is more of a casual let's play type thing than a walkthrough, which unfortunately if you're looking for, you know, Okay, we need to do this and this and like someone like master the game like the back of their hand. You can go to the casino area at so I still need to go to the casino area. Um, but uh, how do I get to the casino area? That door leads to outside. Do I talk to you? Uh, I know it's. I know it has something to do with this place. Oh uh, crap! Camera, stop being dumb. Okay, so. Is that the pool? That's the pool. So probably this way is a casino. Right? No, that leads out. So then this way... Um... No, okay, yeah, yeah. So it's the other one. It has to be the other one then. <sighs> I have apologies. I, I'll probably add like a skip annotation to skip to like the next plot point anyway. So it is what it is. And I'll probably, once I get to like the next stage, I'll do a recap. On the items that I got, because probably. Casino Ken, this way, right? Hello? Casinoopolis is open, but the only way in is closed. Sorry. Or so you think. So, what we do is hit this, right? And that does that. So then we. First of all, I'm probably going to want to hit the thingy again, because the rings are probably going to disappear very soon. There we go. Now we can enter. See? Using our heads. Casinoopolis, action stage 3. And if you're expecting like a legitimate action stage, you're gonna be for an, a rude awakening, because this is very elaborate, and it pretty much has nothing to do with action whatsoever. It's probably gonna take up the entirety of the next episode. So probably what I'm gonna do now is uh, sort of like run around and show you everything, and but I'm gonna do it silently, I think, because we're getting close to the end of the episode. And I want to do an awkward pause, so, um, yeah, here's your silent tour of the rest of the game. I'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs> Assuming you decide to go to the next episode, anyway.